Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna show you guys what my baby girl's nighttime routine is looking like. If you are pregnant or if you just recently had a baby, you know that routines, nighttime routines especially, are key for babies. Babies can sense and they, can, they know when you're doing a routine, it means that it's bedtime. So it is very important to set a nighttime routine for your baby to help them get used to that and know that bedtime is coming soon. I implemented a nighttime routine, I will say about like seven, seven to eight weeks old because the first few weeks, my baby girl has always been a really bad sleeper. In the first few weeks, obviously, we still had to wake up every three hours and all of that to feed her. So we were just on survival mode and I didn't really worry about a nighttime routine. But once she turned seven weeks old, I did implement that and I have not stopped doing the same thing every night up until today. My baby is currently sleeping through the night. She goes down anywhere between 8 p.m. to 8.30 and wakes up anywhere from 8.30 to 9 a.m. She does wake up sometimes around 4 a.m. I, I took away her night feeding about two weeks ago. She was ready to drop the night feeding. She was just waking up more because she was used to it. So she needed a little help to dropping it. So I took it away completely cold turkey one night and we have not fed her at night at night time for about two weeks now and we are doing pretty good. Sometimes she does wake up around four because she's just used to it. She's playing over there. Um, she's still used to it, so she wakes up around 4 a.m. sometimes. And she can't find her pacifier on her own, but sometimes she can, so I just go ahead and get up and put it back on, and she goes back to sleep until 8.30 or 9 a.m. So, during the day, she is sleeping in her crib in her room, but mama is not ready to transfer her at nighttime yet. So, and I'm okay with that because we are both getting pretty good rest at night already, so that is fine with me. Well, I think once she can actually really grab her pacifier and 100% put it back on, then maybe I will move her to her room after she turns six months old. But for now, she's still in my room, and you are gonna be seeing the setup that I have for her in my room right now. So if you guys wanna see a more detailed video of what I did to sleep train my baby without no cry it out method i did not let my baby cry it out at all so if you want to see that let me know and i will be making another detailed video with all the tips and tricks that i use to help her teach herself soon but now i will be showing you guys what her nighttime routine is currently looking like i really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below if you want to see that video next thank you guys so once we are done playing downstairs, we go ahead and head upstairs to start the baby girl's nighttime routine. I bring with me two bottles, one for nighttime and the other one for morning when she wakes up. She does have anywhere from six to seven ounces bottles during the day, totaling five bottles, including this one that I'm preparing right now. The last one, it is eight ounces. I feel like this way she is pretty full and it helps her a lot to make it throughout the night until the next day without waking up to eat. I go ahead and prepare her bottle before her bath. That way, if she is a little bit overtired or hungry, I just have everything ready to go and I can quickly feed her after her bath. After I'm done preparing her bottle, I go ahead and prepare her bath situation. Right now, this is what we are doing. This is the little setup I've had since she was born. I put this bathtub on top of our counters, but she has already basically outgrown this bathtub, so we are going to be moving to a regular bathtub pretty soon. I use this essential oil in her bath. I use like three to four drops. It's just a regular lavender essential oil. I bought this little pack. It's like mommy and me, and it's safe for babies and mommies. So I got this on Amazon, and I will be linking it down below for you guys. Once I have that ready to go, you guys cannot hear her, but she was crying. She was really tired and hungry. So I just quickly took her to her room to get everything off and go ahead and grab her towel and head back to my bathroom so we can have the bath time. She is pretty calm usually when she's taking her bath. She literally loves bath time. So I just go ahead and place her here, make sure that her diaper is clean 
because we had a little accident the night before so I just like to double check before I take it off that the diaper is clean and then we just quickly do a bath time play I talk to her and sing we laugh and after we go ahead and just head back to her room I did want to point out that she does get a bath time every single night she has been getting a bath time daily since she was like I'm gonna say five six weeks old I do not wash her hair every day that is something that I do like every three days but her little body I do wash it every single night and there is something that I use every night to help with dry skin that I will be showing you guys in a little bit so right after bath time we go ahead and head back to her room and then I just have a playlist of same songs that I've always played since she was in my belly and we go ahead and finish the routine listening to this music and now this is how my baby never has any dry skin using baby oil and lotion I use the combination of both during the morning and at nighttime and now I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a little massage applying both things so I do not change my baby's diaper unless it's necessary at nighttime. So to help with any leaks, I went ahead and bought these inserts that they sell on Amazon. I will be linking them down below. You can add them to any diapers. We actually are using right now the Huggies overnight. And ever since we're doing this, she has had no leaks. She does sleep on her stomach right now. So when she started sleeping like that, she was having a lot of leaks. Ever since we started doing this, that has not been an issue anymore. And still listening to the same songs, we just go ahead and sit on the rocking chair and I just go ahead and feed her and sing to her and talk to her. After she's done feeding, I like to just have her sitting up for about 5 to 10 minutes making sure that she can digest her food because like I said, she likes sleeping on her stomach and I just don't want her to throw up or anything like that so I just go ahead and have her sit with me for about 5 to 10 minutes. Sometimes I read her a book. This night I didn't because she was extremely tired so we just sat there for a little bit and then we head to bed. So this is the setup that I have here in my room before we had a bassinet and I had it like super close to my bed and it was kind of hard to just move her just this far from bed that was still hard. But we had to because she outgrew her bassinet, even though her bassinet was like one of those that you can grow with. Uh, the weight limit was like 20, 25 pounds. She outgrew it. So we had to bring up her pack and plate. This was downstairs. So we had to bring it up here because she is now sleeping on her stomach and rolling all over the place. And she moves too much. So yeah, the bassinet was not going to do it anymore. So we brought up her pack and plate. And I bought a pack and play mattress. Um, I think it was at Target online. Yes, it was at Target. And it's perfect because this um, pack and play, the bottom of it is like a rock. It's super hard and I was not going to have her sleep on that. So I have this type of white noise. So the next thing I will do is just turn this on. And then we are now using... A sleep sack the nested bean but like I said she's sleeping now on her stomach so I put it backwards um, so this little part it goes on her back instead of her chest and I just have a few pacifiers laying around in there so so you can hear her she is pretty tired she's right here mm hmm so I just put one of these PJs on and then I'm going to put the um, sleep sack and we're going to put her in bed. So I just go ahead and put her in her sleep sack. I make sure that all the lights are off. My baby was waking up super early in the morning and it was because the morning light was coming in the room. So we had to go ahead and cover our windows and as well as the room. If you guys can see, we had to improvise and put a regular curtain to divide the room and the bathroom because we do sometimes shower after she's running in bed and she will wake up um, if we turn the light. So everything has to be completely dark. 
She has to have her white noise and her pacifiers and this is how she sleeps through the night. She usually goes down within five minutes and without crying. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you guys want to see how I sleep train my baby. Thank you guys for watching. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you